Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, I'm out checking back in, man. Back with a blog, man. Make sure that like button, subscribe on your way, and I appreciate all the support, man. Back with another Van Chronicles. Your boy is in LA. See the sunshine, man. Shout out to everybody in LA. I got these boxes to deliver, whatever that is. But I got these boxes to deliver. I'm going to be in San Francisco for a couple days. And then it's back to the East Coast, man. So shout out to everybody. Hope y'all having a good weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the females that watch the battle rap content. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to talk about Gnome. Jerry West has been added to the card. Private event going down um, from what I'm hearing. So we're going to talk about a lot. But I still see this time limit shit. It's still going on with Verve, bro. Hip hop is real. Caught up with Big T. Asked them. They gonna ask them, is it cheating to go over the time? I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all really, y'all really doing the most for Verb. Y'all niggas is doing the most for Verb. He lost, man. Why these niggas don't want? It? Like niggas are telling him he lost. Niggas just ain't saying shut the fuck up. You lost. That's what niggas need to say. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, yeah, I got Swamp 2-1. It was a cool battle. You know, I got Swamp winning. Nah, nah. Say shut the fuck up. Swamp one. That's what niggas need to say. That's what niggas need to say. Y'all trying to explain this and explain that. Well, we're gonna go right, we're gonna go rewrite history. We're gonna say Lux lost the third round versus Calico because he went over the time and Cal didn't stop. No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna say Hitman lost. Look what Hitman say, man. Let, let me go to this battle, man. Say right here. All that tough shit that you be on, not one of my niggas play that. I made a million dollars off battle rap. Can't none of you niggas say that. Yeah. 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 Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Top of the second. Yeah. Top of the second. Yeah. Yeah. Top of the second. Hey, can they stop that smoke? Please, please with the smoking on stage, y'all. Please. That was a long ass round. Where's match? I came to work. First round, I, I one round and he rapped for nine minutes. You heard what he said, man. Grudge match. I came to work. Hitman did have a long first round. He probably rapped for like six minutes. Calico rapped for like three. A lot of niggas give Hitman the first round, though. If you go back to that battle, you're going to say Hitman won the first. Maybe Hitman won another round. Maybe it's 2 1 Calico, 2 1 Hitman, whatever the case may be. But that's just the way it is. Um, I do feel like sometimes the league has a little bit of responsibility to keep the times within reach. But sometimes you can get wrapped up. You ain't sitting there with a stopwatch or whatever doing doing all that at the end of the day man you you just got to stop the rounds that's all, that's all it is you just got to stop the rounds so i see this is going to be an ongoing topic if y'all niggas keep this shit up though i'm gonna really expose what really going went on with this time you know i'm trying to be cool because i know there's a lot of people involved i don't want to be leaking a, a bunch of private conversations and all that but y'all a lot of y'all niggas ain't keeping it real on what really happened with this time and i don't want to really have to go there in the blog but i see all this caping going on and i don't really like it but enough about that man gnome jerry west has been added to the card man um salute to that i'm definitely happy about jerry west been on the card jerry west from what i found out shout out to vada fly because he did a little digging and stuff talking to jerry west it seemed like url wasn't really booking him because he wasn't promoting and you know what I'm saying? That is on Jerry West to keep it real with you. He got to promote. He can't let his energy in. You know, he can't battle Tay Rock. And if he beat Tay Rock, let all his energy die down for the rest of the year. He can't do that either. And I guess they were trying to get him to be more outspoken, promote more and everything. The trailer is crazy. We saw the trailer. One of the best trailers I've seen. The trailer for this card is one of the best I've seen in a minute. So I'm glad about that. But you definitely got to promote. See, when you battle Tay Rock, he obviously don't need to battle. So a part of it needs to be an incentive for him to even want to battle you. And you get that from your promotion. You pro you promote, you call out Tay Rock, you talk your shit, and now it's easier for the league to set the battle up and for the fans to have interest in the battle. I think one thing that helped Jerry West has been so many bloggers like clamoring for this nigga to battle. So it was an easy, easy setup. So but moving forward, Jerry West, you gotta do better. I gotta keep it real with you. You do have to do better on the promotion. Don't uh, don't expect the league or URL or whatever the case to be trying to keep your name out there. You got you got to you got to do that. You got to do more interviews. You got to be on social media more. You might need to drop some music. 
I think he dropped a video. He ain't shared it to none of the bloggers. I don't got it. And I'm one of niggas biggest supporters. <clears throat> but I don't got it. I'm sure Caps, Piper Boy, all these. I'm sure niggas don't have the video. So you got to do what you got to do to get your name out there and all that. But coming into the battle, I'm going to tell you right now. I got Jerry West winning. I have Jerry West beating Tay Rock. I know Tay Rock is on a crazy run. Do you realize that Jerry Tay Rock got four battles set up between now and known, which is what June eighth or some shit like that? I forgot the date. But between now and known, Tay Rock got four battles set up, four battles, and Jerry West is the fourth one. So he got other battles set up. A week before that, he battled J two in Atlanta for three rounds. Like he guys got other battles set up, bro. So, this is going to be another situation where he's going to have back. Like, every week he's battling. So, I feel like the Jerry West battle is going to be the battle that catch up to him. He might fuck around and get clipped by J2. I mean, J2 beat Mac Meyer, and I was shocked by that. You know what I'm saying? He's been, like, low-key been having some, some pretty good battles. So, I think sooner or later, this over is going to catch up to Tay Rock. I got him losing to Jerry West. But I still like the battle. I'm glad it's on the card. And I think Tay Rock is definitely going for Cody. Now, this private event thing, I've been hearing that first I heard the battle was in or is in Orlando. I know a lot of people is wondering where Gnome is at. I don't think it's in Houston. I don't think it's in New York. And I'm hearing that it's in Orlando. You all real, like I told you, built a whole compound down there, basketball court, some other little shit to shoot battles at. You know what I'm saying? Probably the uh, price of a building and everything. They've been trying to, to purchase a building to shoot battles, but New York was too expensive. So they found some place in Orlando, built a little studio or whatever to shoot battles. And I think that that's where the event is at from what I'm hearing. And they do a lot of app-only events down there. So Orlando is another big spot that a lot of people, a lot of battles go down out down there. So it don't looks like they may not, it may be an invite only. They may not be selling tickets. They may not be uh, really opening up to the public. <clears throat> the funny thing is, I hear niggas complaining. I don't know why y'all niggas complaining, bro. I do not know why you niggas are complaining. And this is why I got to defend URL. URL can't win. See, y'all, all, last year, I put, uh, I put RBE on the stock rise list. And I told y'all, they did max out which was like a big ass event. It was equivalent to Summer Madness. They did it in a small room. They just focused on the pay-per-view, sold tickets, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, their ability to create a card and put it in a small room, it made the battles better. And everybody was saying how much Max Out was a dope card. The battles were good. Why? Because they took it out of that Believe Music Hall and all that other stuff with a thousand people, moved it into like a hundred to 200 room um capacity and then the battles were good y'all fans said y'all like that shit y'all fans said that rbe had the best event in a long time and i told y'all with the stock stock rise list i was like rbe success is going to change the way url does things moving forward to some degree this is another change y'all niggas kept saying y'all want lux and rum needed in a small room it looks like it's going to be in a small room and now it's in a small room niggas complaining that it's a private event that's what the fuck small rooms are you niggas can't come to the event it's a private event it's small room limited tickets invite only all that shit those words limited tickets small room private event uh uh invite only all of that spells small room that's what y'all want yes yeah, so that's what y'all want the battle to be in a small room right so i don't really know what they're complaining about now niggas is like oh i can't believe url putting on as a private event half of y'all niggas wasn't going anyway half of y'all niggas was not going anyway and the minute y'all if url would announce lux and rum nitty and houston in front of a thousand people y'all be complaining in oh they should have made it a small room houston don't got a good crowd they be booing Bro, you can't win in this culture with some of the moves you make. They just trying something different, bro. And I think at the end of the day, if it's going to be a small room, it's going to be face-to-face, -face, invite only. It's hard for the battles to be bad. It's going to be hard for Rum, Nitty, and Lux to have a bad battle if it's barely any people in the room. And all you got to do is listen to the bars. So I'm not mad. The gnome card is crazy. The the best announcement, the s well, maybe... The second best battle on the card may be announced next. 
It ain't the second best battle, in my personal opinion. I don't even think it's announced yet. When I look at this card, this this card is pretty stacked, bro. The next announcement is another pretty big announcement. You know what I'm saying? As far as in the culture, and um, it ain't crazy. You know, it ain't bigger than Lux and Rum Nitty. So don't 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 be thinking that I'm crazy. But it's a it's it's some good. It's two good names. You know what I'm saying? So you can expect to be like, damn, I'm surprised this is on the card and it's gonna be on the card. So then you're gonna look at. Geechee and what you got? Geechee and Fonz. You got Tay Rock and Jerry West. You got Lux and Rum Nitty, obviously. And you got T Top and Danny Myers. So, yeah, the next announcement I think is better than them. Personally, that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad it's on the card. So, uh, that'll be the fifth announcement. I don't know if there'll be five battles or six battles. There's rumors units might be on the card, all kind of stuff like that. So, I don't really know if units is going to be like one of, one of the battles. But, private event, small room, I think it's dope, man. I think it's dope. We we need URL to have some good battles. We need them to have a good event, and we need it to be as small as possible because it's too many heckling. And a lot of y'all ain't like the battles no way when it was in a big room. So, you know what I'm saying? Give it a chance. Put it in a small room. We want to hear all the bars between Lux and Rum Nitty. So I'm not mad at it at all. You know, I'm not mad at it at all. And maybe you can hit up URL and URL will let you let you come in. They're going to let some people come in if it's a private event or an invite only. They will let probably let some tickets go. You might have to DM them or some shit like that. But from what I'm hearing, it might really be a private event. I know they haven't said it personally, but it looked like it might be going in that direction. So I ain't mad, bro. I ain't mad at all. Um, the next announcement will probably be next week. What else I want to talk about real quick? Is there anything else? I think that's it, man. I think that's it. Uh, I'm glad Jerry West is on the card. I'm glad Danny Myers is on the card. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely glad about that. He was able to kind of like redeem himself from the whole, uh, you know, the whole shit with, with Easy to Block Captain and all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of glad he's finally getting on a big card or whatever as well. Danny deserves it from coming off the whole Easy card and never really being rewarded. So that's good to see as well. I like the card. I feel like this car right here, bro, is one of the best URL cars in a minute. It's not max out. It's not Summer Madness 2. It's not no shit like that. But it's up there. It's it's up there. It's, one of, it's a very good car. If I was rating this car right now with the other announcement I know is coming and maybe another announcement after that, I'd probably put that at a 9. This is a good car, bro. It, it ain't, it's not a bad battle on this car. It's not a bad matchup. I'm not mad about Fonz. He finally get a chance. Danny and T-Top been going crazy. T-Top should be probably in a running for champion of the year in second place behind rock so it's good even he's on the card and then tay rock and jerry west we all been wanting that, to see that battle we glad jerry west is getting a shot lux is on the card rum nitty's on the card it is an efb card though i ain't lying it's an efb card. it's definitely an efb card i mean guy if you put that's why i'm saying if you put units on there it's like the sixth battle he's efb gc efb rum nitty efb danny efb this is what i was saying about teams bro when i was like yo a lot of times niggas join teams so they can control cards this could be another this could be another thing you don't even know if all these niggas took less money to be on a card together you don't know if you, you don't know if geechee was like you know what if you book danny myers rum nitty da, 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 just just for efb to get on a card we'll all take a thousand or two thousand dollars less less dollars to be on a card you don't even know if that's how, that, if that's how this all came together shit like that can definitely happen man and that's why joining teams and all that you can sometimes control cars a little bit especially when you got rum nitty in such a powerful position battling lux and then it's like okay let's try to get geese on the card let's try to get jerry west on the card let's try to get danny myers on the card and if the list goes on this is definitely an efb card the next announcement ain't an efb though but it's definitely an efb card and then that's kind of wild, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's kind of wild right there, but shout out to them. Might be going down in Orlando. Hopefully, they'll release it, the, the date. Or not the date, but hopefully, they'll give you more details on for it as far as the private event coming up soon. But I just want to speak on it real quick. Chris, I'm biased. Holler at your boy.